Hey everybody, it's Kim, and I'm running late. It is Saturday afternoon, but I've got on Saturday for Saturday Morning Makes, with hosted by Jill Norwood. Yeah, the whole Saturday Morning Makes, I don't make them on Saturday. I work on them all week. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm not a quick maker. So, what I ended up getting, working with, was this. I got it on Alley. I cut this out separate, the gingerbread face. And then you get all these parts. The dripping, this does a little rick rack around, the eyes, etc. So I made some projects with that. And let me show you what I did. So let's see. Uh oh, I'm missing one. Jesus oh, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. I can't find it right now. I haven't lost it. I just can't find it right now. That's what my son used to say. But I have this die that's shadowed. It says warm hugs and it has a shadow. So I did this one. And this one I cut out in craft cardstock. And I did her cheeks in red. Now the eyeballs were oval. I just didn't like them. So I did a little cutting and changed the shape. And I like them a lot better. You can have eyelashes. Here's that rick rack, and then I just took a, took a zig white marker and went around, gel marker, and went around and did some detail. And then for the scalloping on each of these, I used my, had this for years, diamond dies scalloped circles. The card itself is actually, I got it at a garage sale, or thrift store it looks like. Um, these are for photo cards. This was, um... Studio 18, which I can't remember if that's Joann's or or Michael's, but it doesn't matter. So the intent is that you put, gosh darn it, your photo here. But what's nice is then the inside, if I can open it, has a greeting already there for you. But I thought, you don't have to have a photo. So in the background here, I got out my stamps for 3D stamp or three step stamping or four step, I can't remember. <laughs> Let's see. Three step layered stamping. So I use that on the paper and it ends up not showing up that much, which always kind of kills me. So that's in the back and I inserted that. And then I put a little glue here and here so that didn't run or move around. And I had some uh, gingerbread buttons, dress up buttons. And this is just, I ran this through a Xyron sticker maker. And that's just ginger, or ginger, gingham uh, ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I just thought that turned out super cute. Super cute. Margaret, she and I hung out last night at the trailer. And she's like, I thought, why are you doing? And I was at her place the other day and I was trying to color Christmas. It wasn't going well though. She goes, it's because it's not Christmas. I got, I'm like, she was cracking me up. Okay. We like to give each other bad time. Then I did this one. I give her a worse time. I'm really not a good friend. I kind of feel bad sometimes. <laughs> she said if I don't give her a bad time, she's like, something wrong. Like, yeah. So for this next one, I put it on a tag. I think I got these on Alina Cuddle. And I just, so I use that tag die. Again, with the warm hugs. This one I got the gingham from this basics that I had from Tuesday morning back in the day. And I used the plaid back here with my created diamond dies. That came from this that I just got, kind of a brown tone. See what else. Oh, and then the little gingerbread man, I use vintage photo going around, but I got it from this pack that I got for free from scrapbook.com. And then, oops, this is coming. This is gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree. So, and then I thought this was cute. This is from, I get this auto ship from Crapper's Companion of all the sentiments. The gift of love, the gift of peace, the gift of happiness, may all these be yours at Christmas. And I thought, well, that's perfect for a gift tag or whatever this would be. So yeah, very cute. Had fun with these. I was experimenting. So this one I did on an off-white and then came in with my Distress Oxides. Her cheeks are pink. Again, I cut her eyes so it looked happier. And there's the 
drippings and she's kind of cattywampus just out of cuteness. I guess you could put a line there. There's her eyes. Eyes are the hardest because they kind of define the personality of the character. Which this one, you can also just do, I almost didn't use this one because if you look closely, which we're going about to do, this kind of had some, but I thought, eh, by the time I get done putting all the stuff on, it'll be fine. So I found, and I don't think I got it out. I could not for the life of me figure out what this thing was, but I turned it, I think it's supposed to be a pocket die with a heart. So I thought that'd be perfect. And then it had this with love. I thought I put something there. I had a little heart there from, because you get all these cutouts, right? So you could insert a gift card right there. It splits apart, but I could not find a sample on Allie to save my soul. So I just kind of did what I wanted. And I had this heart comes like this, and then it comes, the die comes with this. And it folds over. Anyway, this piece is separate. I was just like, oh my gosh. So, and then you get this border. But by the time I was done, I liked it. I just thought, quit worrying about what it's supposed to, just make it what you want it. You know, and we get so hung up on what's supposed to be. So there's a gingham bow from Dollar Tree again polka dot in the back from the that basics and then this is a gingham from creative expressions that i just recently got in the back and then some silver glitter from crafters companion and mustache yeah so this was actually the first one now she does not have she is just her eyes are closed i thought that was cute she's smiling so much her eyes are like you know how do you do it <laughs> I put crap on the, anyway. So yeah, but if I give this to somebody that's not a crafter, they're not gonna notice all the bloopers. So while I'm on this, we were crafting away. I went to Margaret's and colored and I did not like, I tried to color this one snowman, this snow lady, and I love her. She's adorable, but this is Darcy's. But, snow, but it's summer. It's weird. So, yeah, there's seed packets. <laughs> oh, God. The conversations Margaret and I had. Sunflowers. How about this one? So, I tried to do it with a watercolor, and I just wasn't having any luck. So, I went in with Copics yesterday, and I shaded around it with a light, light gray. And I used my tri-blends, and I think she came out adorable. So that is her with her little sunflowers and yeah. So that's that stamp. And then I gotta put all this into a into cards. So here's this one, this little family. I thought they were adorable. I don't know who this is. This is another one of my Darcy's again. And I colored them. Today, oh, I think they turned out super cute. So I'm going to show you something I got at Goodwill the other day that I think I'm going to use to help organize the things I color. Because now I've got a lot that I've colored and it's sitting in different paper pads and it needs to come out where I'll find them and make into cards. All right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I love this one because they gave me what colors to use. Not that you have to do that, but it sure helps. And this one is, I think it's Stampendous, yes. There's just some styles you can tell are Stampendous or different brands. So Stampendous, and this is my version of that. Where are they? Sorry, can't see what I'm doing here. And so color Copic again, or color, cop, Copic colored rather. And I was happy. I I was looking. At first, I could not for the life of me figure out what that was. Well, that's the middle guy has his, his mittens going around this one lady and this little girl or whatever. I could not for the life of me figure out because if you look on here, it's just like, what's so once that's why I like having them colored. It made sense. I was able to figure it out. I get I don't know if it's lost on stamps but I guess like what, what is that what's going on and then I did this little guy 
This is another Darcy's. Cute, cute, and more cute. The gingerbread men, I'm not happy with. They look like the Bonneville snowman or something. I'm not real happy with them. But I like the snowman enough. And again, most people that receive stuff like that aren't going to overthink the gingerbread, the gingies. But I did this one in kind of a teal aqua colors. So that is that one. I think that's all I have to share as far as what I've been making lately. It's speaking of making. So this is really sweet. I got a text from my daughter-in-law, Kristen's mom, saying Emma has her new her professional ballet pictures and she wants you. She goes, well, Gra I want grandma to make me a frame to hang them in because she makes things so pretty. So I know at my, at my storage, I have white frame that I'm going to decorate up and put her so I was just like oh what an honor that's so sweet that you would think of that okay I will be back because I've been buying you know I do all right but check out Saturday morning makes there's so many you just put hashtag sat morn with an n makes and you'll find the wonderful crafters all right take care guys bye-bye